Hey y'all, my name is Mac or North. And a few months ago, I decided to make one video every day for a year. I figured I would show you my hobbies, my music, my personality, you know, what I'm interested in. And I would post it to YouTube and I'd post it to TikTok and go out of my comfort zone. And the biggest thing about it is that I never really use socials. Even as a nearly full-time artist, I was averse to socials and never was a socials person. I thought negatively of social media. Um, I stayed out of that light. I posted about some songs, I posted every once in a while, but I really hated it. And coming on to day like 108 of this challenge, I realized that I had a holier than now attitude about social media like it was stupid like I was better than it or you know I didn't need it to make music happen and this was something that I realized was me trying to cope with the feelings I have about social media the negative feelings the negative comments the negative things I've seen in the past and I realized that it's not stupid and it's not holier than thou, right? It's a tool, it's an asset, it's something that people enjoy, it's entertainment, it gets laughs. And something I've realized is that a lot of things you'll see on YouTube or from social media is to stop scrolling, stop being on it. Stop doing this, stop doing that. Social media is rotting your brain. Social media is this, social media is that. But we fail to realize that everything is in moderation. And everything is about the individual person and how much they can handle. Yes, it's bad to doom scroll. Yes, it's bad to be on there hours upon hours and not get anything done every single day. But it's also a tool. It's something that helps artists find their audience. Something that helps people find their audience. It's something that helps people relate, helps people find friends, being online. It has so many positives. And I think I had such a negative mindset about it because I grew up with a kind of mindset that analog is best or this is best and writing notes and not dealing with social media and all of this stuff. But in reality, Doing this challenge has really positively changed my life. As someone with ADHD, as someone who's a musician, as someone who's creative, the biggest struggle is being consistent. I work in bursts, I do things in bursts, I'm quick with things, but I also burn out and I move hobbies quickly. And doing YouTube and doing TikTok every day has been an absolute blast because it helps me come out of my comfort zone. It helps me think of ideas. It helps me be creative. It helps me learn and meet new people and meet other musicians in a place where there's not that many, at least where I'm at. And so I realized that social media can be good. It's not always good. And there's a lot of negatives, but especially for an artist and a creative like me, I realized that I actually have an absolute blast figuring this out. And I say that because if you're one of those people who's really adverse to it or don't like it or whatever, it's understandable. Everyone is different. Some people don't like it. Some people don't use it. Some people do. It's all about what you need and your moderation and what benefits you. And at the end of the day, this stuff benefits me. And it's so nice seeing people find music. It's so nice seeing people like the music and like things about my personality, like the interests, have critiques, whatever. It's just different. And I don't think I ever would have opened myself up if I had the same mindset I had years ago. So I hope you stick around for the rest of the 200 and so and so days, because I'm doing this for a full year to stay consistent, figure out who I am more online and offline and build an audience that can relate to anything I'm talking about. 
But until then, I'll see you tomorrow.